Okay, especially for New York Stilo, all the way from England, is a Miracle Mud Sump. Uh, this sump was set up along with the main display in October 2009, so around about 13 and a half months. So the main display is 64 inches long, 30 inches deep, and uh, 24 inches wide. So we just have a look at the detail of the, the sump. Here are the two return pipes from the main display area. And these are fed by two Eheim 1260 pumps. Um, I didn't use bio balls in this area. I prefer to go a slightly different route. And uh, in here we have just over a foot of um, coral sand which is very very much oxygen rich fed from the two return pipes which reach the bottom and it's full of pods. If we move on to the second chamber here uh, this area is lit 24 7 uh, with two T5 tubes and around 40 pounds of miracle mud. Uh, the main algae in here is Chato, but also there's some grape algae. Uh, there's a lot of life in here and um, I do feed it. Uh, so every day it gets uh, D and T phytoplankton and uh, once a week I use this. It's uh, a zeobac, it's part of the cholera and zoot range and uh, what I found was after starting to use this I didn't get any uh, residual phosphate. Here we come on to the third chamber. Okay, um, again classically should be full of bio balls but um, I never needed it, never really had any nitrate problem. Uh, this tank's nitrate varies between 0 and 0 0.02, uh, so really, really low, and always has been very low. We go on to the fourth chamber here, and you can see uh, a repurposed fluidizing sand filter and this has got raw foss in it. Um, not sure it's doing anything anymore uh, since it started on the Zeobike. It's been now 16 weeks and uh, still can't find any trace of phosphate in the system. There's a, a small chamber here for auto top up which I put in uh, RO water and when the need arises I do buffer, um, so I'm either using uh, magnesium or carbonate buffer, and I found that's all I really need to do. Um, test kits I'm using are from Salifert, so uh, nitrate we already covered. Uh, magnesium, I'm normally running around 1350 to 1380. I find the pH varies from 7.9 to 8.1 depending on the time of day. And uh, calcium, normally around 450, and this is coming from a calcium reactor. Magnesium, normally around 1350 to 1380. And uh, calcium hardness, I'm looking at the DKH around about 9 normally. There's a coral in zoo uh, potassium test kit and uh, I bought the K balance but never actually needed to use it. So technology wise I have a pH monitor connected to uh, the calcium reactor here, we can see, and a very simple auto top-up. Uh, 
and you can see the floor switch at the back. Very, very simple, not an awful lot to do. The phosphate reactor is fed here by this old uh, Eheim compact pump and from time to time I do put some carbon in um, because I've got a mixture of soft corals um, with hard corals and uh, I do find it perks them up a little bit. So if we move into the main display now, uh, slightly different from the last video, here we're looking at the tank and the blues. It's night, so big hammer coral and some nice plates and they're pretty much all these corals were frags apart from a few I pulled across from my old tank which had been running for seven years um, really in a classical manner with a Berlin system with a protein skimmer so skimmerless so uh, Stagon Acapora so Montipora frag I got a couple of weeks ago. Uh, this is the only coral that's not really liked it. This leather coral just really doesn't like the new setup. I think it's probably too clean. Mini Maxi and Enemy. It's a new purchase. Here we have um, a tube and enemy. Galaxia coral. one of the two Vortec MP40 pumps got a couple of gonoporas here and I'm finding these are much much better now with the phytoplankton feed made a huge difference when I started using phytoplankton every day three months ago. Australian chalice. Turbinara. Hystrix. Plating Montipora. Nice little mushroom here. Hammer coral around uh, 50 heads, branching hammer coral. I really loves it and um, pretty close to the Vortec, not far at all. And uh, finally, here we come into. Uh, a Duncan. I got this three months ago with one head and now there are six. So I hope that gives you a, an idea of what's possible with Miracle Mud. I've no connection with the company, uh, just an amateur running a nice tank. Well, hope you think it's nice anyway. And I think my next move will be to improve the lighting. Uh, it's, it's 30 inches deep and three uh, 150 watt metal halides, um, 10,000 Kelvin with uh, BLV bulbs. And, well, I think it needs a bit more to get the best out of the coral.